Every January 9, millions of devotees from all walks of life and ages flock to the streets of Quiapo in Manila to join the Traslacion, or procession of the Black Nazarene from Quirino Grandstand to Quiapo Church that usually lasts for more than 20 hours. For them, this is the greatest way to show their devotion to the Black Nazarene who is believed to be miraculous. But apart from the devotees, there is a group of men that stands out during the annual religious event. They are usually clad in yellow and maroon long sleeves t-shirt. Some of them are seen up on the andas or the carriage bearing the life-sized image of the dark-skinned kneeling Jesus Christ carrying the cross while others help devotees to climb and touch the iconic image with their towels. They are the so-called Hijos del Nazareno, the sons of the Black Nazarene. According to Father Douglas Badong, parochial vicar of Quiapo Church, there are around 600 Hijos in Quiapo coming from six groups, namely Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno or NBJN, Minor Basilica of the Black Nazarene or MBBN, Bukluran, Central, Minor Basilica, and Anak ng Poong Nazareno. They are united in their goal which is to protect the 17th century image of the Black Nazarene. To be part of the honored group, they apply to become Ihos. Para sa kanila, yun yung uh, parang pinangangalagaan nila. Kaya ayaw nilang mawala kasi uh, andun yung pakiramdam na malapit sila sa Nazareno, nandun yung panahon at pagkakataon na makapaglingkod sila sa Nazareno. Kaya ganun na lang yung pinangahawakan nila na sila ay ihos del Nazareno. Sila ay bahagi ng simbahan ng Tiyan. Despite the honor, being an iho is not an easy feat. It can be physically draining, as preparations and even the translation itself take a long, long time. Yet the ihos still continue to fulfill their commitment, even if it will cost their lives. Like then 44-year-old Renato Gurion, his longtime friend Adam Sandin said, Renato underwent angioplasty treatment in 2006, the same year when both of them became members of Hijos del Nazareno. Three years later, they became official escorts of the Señor, a responsibility they aspired to carry since their service at Capo Church. I ko sa kanya eh. uh, talagang yung devotion niya sa Nazareno, talagang Masasabi kong napakalalim. However, in 2015, Renato made headlines after dying of cardiac arrest while escorting the Black Nazarene at the start of Traslacion at Quirino Grandstand. He was the first iho to die in over 400 years of history of the procession. Pagdaling sa Manila doctors, sabi ng doktor, sino survive siya Sabi, uh, di o eh, masakit. Masakit yun. First time kasi namin nalagasan. Nung nakita ko siya, nakaiga. Eh, hindi pa alam ni Maring Roda. Nandun na yung, uh, nandun na yung tanong ko kay senior na bakit nangyari. Anong dahilan? Eh, siguro ano, nung, nung nasa labas kami ng Manila Doctors, sabi ko nga, yung pala yung sinasabi niya hanggang may bukay siya, paglilipot siya. But Renato's death did not stop the family from serving the Senor Nazareno. In fact, his eldest son, Renz Gurion, is now an iho from the same group which he was once a member of. Nung 2015 na nabalita akong yung about kay Papa, na nag-decide kami na ipagpatuloy yung 
devotion kung ano yung sinimulan nung aming ama sa sa kaya po. Renz said, This is their way to thank the Black Nazarene for helping his father to recover and appear fit after a heart surgery. Nag-fun run siya. Tinry niya mag-fun run. Simula nung 2016, 2006-2007. Nagsimula siya nun, tapos pinagpatuloy niya hanggang sa tumakas ang tumakas yung kilometers na tinatakbo. Hindi na siya masyado nag-maintenance dati. Naging devoto siya dahil nga na tinulungan siya ng senior na gumaling sa after nine years niyang niyang operahan. Sumasang pa siya ng andas. Ganun. Tapos nasa survive niya yung every year na tatlong bes na sumasam pa. Four years later, the young Gorion admitted that the pain and shock of the 2015 incident still linger. But just the thought that he was able to fulfill his dream, which was to die for the Senor, gives them peace. Nung na, nasabi nung kasama ni Papa na ano, ganun yung pangarap niya na doon mamatay sa tabi ng pong Senor. Another Iho named Justine Protasho tells a different story of faith and devotion. Being religious is rooted from the origins of his family. In fact, his grandmother was a papal awardee in 1996. He says that becoming an Iho is something he really wanted since childhood. Ano, um, my father said before he died na hindi ko dapat tutigilan kasi I started it ne. For him, another way of giving service to the Senor is joining the annual procession of replicas along with his friends who are also devotees. He owns a six feet replica of Jesus the Nazarene whose parts were mostly crafted from Makabebe Pampanga. Yo si po on, nag start sa ulo, ulo lang. Prepare from the head, tapos. Yung sinabi sa akin ng mga kaibigan para maganda daw magpagawa ng katawan. So nagpagawa ko ng dalawang kamay. And among his friends is 17-year florist Billy Joe Francisco. Even if he's not an iho, Billy says he has strong faith to the Black Nazarene. He also denies accusation that devotees like him are fanatics. Ang isang fanatic kung tao ay maaring mahilang tulad sa taong uh, maaring wala lang. Gusto ko lang pumunta dahil sikat to, in ito, trending to, kailangan ko mag-post of FB. Nayaya ako ng mga kaibigan ko dahil kailangan lang. These ihos may have different ways in worshipping the Senor. But according to Zaldi Bernabe, the head lay of NPJN, they are not only limited to riding the andas or being present during traslasyon and replica procession. They serve with all their heart. And Quiapo has become their home. Ang isang Hios del Nazareno uh, ay nag, naglalaan niya ng buhay, oras. Uh, yung paglaan nam, namin, ang sarili namin sa, sa senior, eh, hindi, po, hindi po mababayaran ng kahit anong pera. And they are willing to serve until... Hanggang nabubuhay pa ako. Pagsisilbihan at paglilingkuran ang ating senyor na sareno. Hanna Tabios, Manila Bulletin.